Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another Roblox Studio video where today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a kill brick or a part that's going to kill the player whenever they touch it. And we can also later in the video turn this kill brick into a laser that can sweep across an obby level where you have to jump over it or it can clear out a bank vault, it can go vertical, it can go horizontal, it can do whatever you want it to do. So let's just get right into this y'all. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our home tab and insert a part. We can go to this part by pressing F. We can name this kill brick. I'm just going to go ahead and make it red in the brick color. And what we're going to do, we're going to go into the explorer, press the plus sign, enter the new script. We call this kill script. And what we're going to do, local part is script.parent. So this is this will get our kill brick. And what we can do, part.touched, connect function. So we connect a function to occur every time the part is touched. And we can in here we can get a hit. So this will be whatever touches the part. And we can put local humanoid is hit.parent find first child humanoid. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna see if the part is touched. It will see if it's a character. And what we can do here, if humanoid then. So if it is a character, humanoid dot health equals zero. So this is gonna get our part and it's gonna see whenever it's touched, it's gonna take the part that touched it. And it's gonna see if it is a player, and if it is a player, it will kill them. So now I can quickly test this out. We see here, I can run up to the part. When I walk over, it will kill me. And now we can go ahead and make this part move. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna insert a new part. We can call this part move part. And now in our kill brick, we can insert a new script. We can call this script tween. And then this script, we're gonna need to firstly get our tween service, the local tween service is game get service queen service and under this we need to get our part so local part is script dot parent and we also need to get our move part so local move is part dot parent dot move part and now what we need to do we need to get our tween info so local tween info is tween info dot new we can put however much time we want we can almost put two seconds and for now i'm going to put the easing style of sign so it's a sine wave, but you can also put linear if you want it to just be a straight moving laser with no slowing down or speeding up. And I'll put sine, I'll put enum.easingdirection.inout just for the sine wave. This won't matter if it's linear. And then for the repeat count, I'm gonna put math.huge. So what this will do, it'll repeat the function forever and ever. It's not gonna stop. And now what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need to make a goal. So if the goal is a new table, what we can do in here is cframe is our move part dot cframe. So the goal of our moving script, we want to move it to our moving part. So now we need to actually turn this into a tween. So local tween is tween service create. We need to get our instance, so part. We need to get our tween info, so our tween info. We need to get our property table, which would be our goal. And the final thing we need to do is tween play. So let's run it and test it out. So in our game, we see that it attempted to call a number value in math.huge. I think what I did here is put parentheses. So let's go back and fix this. Let's remove the parentheses. And now we run it again. And we see that it works just fine. It moves to the part, but it also teleports back. So I think what we also need to do is at the end, when we put reverses, we put true. So we'll reverse the tween when we go back we see it moves back and moves forward see it will move the laser and to get a better example of this we can go back we can change our part to a cylinder right here can make it a cylinder make it tall make it stand up like this and we can also make this part invisible we can see that it will just move it like this you want to make sure that your move part is on the same y value as your laser and to fix the laser moving down we can just go to our kill brick, copy its Y value in position, and we can just paste this in right here. 3.5. So a little bit taller, I put 0.55. 3.5. We place run. We see that it moves along fine. It just slides along the ground like a laser. And if we don't want it to be like this, we can of course put dot linear. Move the second dot. Now we run. We see that it's moving along just like a laser. We can use this for banks. We can use this for obby levels if you want to make it lay down flat. But anyway, that will do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. But for now, 
See y'all in the next one.